Would you like to learn how to run your business better while sitting back and relaxing and watching a movie or five? Well, if that's the case, then this is the video for you because I'm going to be breaking down five movies that every business owner really needs to watch. And I'm going to point out the reasons why when I cover each one of them. Ready? Let's get on with it. Hit it. So for each movie, I'm going to break down, of course, the name of the movie, what it's about, a few things to keep an eye out for, but three crucial things that really stand out and make this both a movie deserving to watch, but also lessons that you can take away, I did at least, from those movies and try and apply them for your business because they're real eye openers. So the first movie we're going to have a look at is The Founder. And if you watched any of my videos on this channel, you'll know that I'm both a big fan of the movie as well as McDonald's in terms of how they use systems and processes to ensure quality quality and consistency everywhere, every time, no matter where you walk into the world in a McDonald's restaurant, it's going to be exactly the same food and exactly the same quality. Whether or not that quality is amazing, that's a different conversation, but it's exactly the same. So this movie really charts the progress of the history of McDonald's, but not just of Ray Kroc, but actually it charts the history of Dick and Mac McDonald, who really founded the McDonald's company, and then how Ray Kroc stumbled upon that opportunity. He was so blown away by the systems and processes that they were doing. He had a vision and he wanted to make this a huge company. And of course, you're going to get the usual persistence and sacrifice and all of those things that you need to have as qualities of an entrepreneur. But what are the really important aspects of this movie that I found eye opening? Let's have a look at those right now. So the first aspect is even if you have an amazing idea for a business and you are an expert and you've got everything down to a T, it doesn't necessarily guarantee you business success. Dick and Mac McDonald, they actually founded McDonald's. They had an amazing idea for fast food, which at the time, this wasn't something that people were used to. And they innovated both an idea, they actually innovated the systems and processes, but they're not the ones that really made McDonald's grow. It was Ray Kroc. And that really gives you an insight in terms of having the understanding of running a business is completely different to actually the idea itself. When you watch the movie, you'll see both the views of the brothers and in terms of how they are not really geared towards scaling something massively, but also Ray Kroc and how he had his journey in terms of stumbling across one business model after another as he was trying to actually grow this company, it didn't grow very well very quickly because he was actually trying to get other people to franchise and get them to maintain that quality and maintain this amazing systems that these two brothers had created. But people weren't listening and they weren't following and they weren't doing what he wanted them to do. And they didn't really see into that vision themselves. So how did he actually struggle to get these messages across? And how was he able to surround himself by the right people and listen to the right information so that he could then pivot and change his business model. That was eye opening. The second aspect is, of course, the systems and processes. And this was something that was both innovative and in a way that people hadn't really started breaking down times and productivity and measures in terms of how you pass a process, almost essentially creating a lean factory line and having that as part of your operations of being able to deliver food inside a kitchen. Every McDonald's hamburger is the grill. Manned by two cooks whose sole job it is to grill those all beef beauties to perfection. Meanwhile, as the patty cooks, our dressers get the buns ready. Watch out. Burger crossing. Burger crossing. Burger crossing. So the final crucial sort of aspect in this movie is the business model. And this was pivotal towards the success and potential failure of McDonald's. Even when Ray Kroc stumbled across McDonald's, he saw the amazing systems and processes. There was an amazing idea. There was an amazing vision. There was amazing everything. And he tried to run this business as a franchise. It wasn't working because he simply couldn't control the franchisees who were taking on these new restaurants and basically putting whatever menu items they wanted. And it wasn't great quality and it wasn't working. And McDonald's wasn't doing well financially. He was about to lose his job, about to lose his family, about to lose absolutely everything. And it wasn't until that point when Harry spoke with Ray Kroc and said, You're not in the burger business. You're in the... I won't spoil it for you. I'll leave it for you to watch. But that entire business model and how they ran the business completely was pivotal towards the success of McDonald's. And had that not been there, we probably wouldn't have had a McDonald's today. So that's the founder. Let's look at movie number two. So the next movie is Moneyball starring Brad Pitt. And don't be deceived. This is not a movie about sports or baseball. It's a movie very much about the business of running a team that happens to be baseball. And the learnings that you can take and that are applied inside this movie, you can take straight out and apply them in your business. Brad Pitt literally had to go back to the drawing board and find innovative ways on how 
how to really start building a competitive team with a really low budget. He spotted the talent of a person who he hired as the assistant general manager. And together, they literally changed the way that people evaluated players inside sports. So let's have a look at the three crucial things to keep an eye out for in this movie. The first one by a long shot is data. Jonah Hill was an economics graduate and they were looking at statistics. Left right here. I'm projecting that you need to win at least 99 games in order to make it to the postseason finding ways to spot and identify undervalued players that had the huge potential in certain positions of the game and they would then buy them at much, much below what their market value should have been. Because what the big boys were doing were already spending money on people that everyone knew about and they were already expensive and there was no way that they could compete. So when you're looking inside your business, business intelligence is really important and data is really important. It will allow you to think about what to focus on inside the market, how much budgets to set aside for different parts of your business, what teams to be able to build, what roles and gaps do you have inside your business, as well as how to price it, how to listen to customers, how well your website is doing, how well your marketing campaigns, the list is endless. So data is really important and being able to watch this film will give you an insight to how data really changed the way that business was done. The second thing is building a team around the roles that you want inside the business, not exactly based on the people themselves. And Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill were doing exactly that. When they were building their team, they were building it based on roles, based on what the strategy was for winning games, based on who comes first and second and third. Being able to understand that your business should not be based around people and should not be dependent on people, rather the roles and what roles people are filling, that is what is crucial inside your business. Because if you depend on one person, including yourself, then the business will have a huge bottleneck. And if that person ends up leaving, the business could be at risk. The third thing to look out for is change management because Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill wanted to change the way the game was played. You're discounting what scouts have done for 150 years, even yourself? Adapt or die change the way that they got players. And inside his own team, whether it was the coaches, whether it was the people, advisors on the meeting boards, the players themselves, they didn't actually understand what he was doing. And what he did to get people on his side over time is something to really watch out for because as our businesses grow, the direction of the business and what we are going to ask our team to do is going to change. And the way that we approach certain things in business is going to change. And yet people don't necessarily want change or like change. They want to be comfortable. And if you're going to try and get them to start doing new things the new way, then watching this movie is going to really give you some ideas on how to, first of all, build a good relationship with the team, but also when to put your foot down and how to actually enforce things when it becomes necessary. You can't start paying you first tonight. You'll have to start Hatterberg. I don't want to go 15 rounds, Billy. The lineup card is mine. And that's all. Okay, the lineup card is definitely yours. I'm just saying you can't start paying you first. Well, I am starting him at first. I don't think so. He plays for Detroit now. You traded Pena? Yeah. If you are finding value out of this video, please hit that like button and also the subscribe button if you can. The next movie is Joy starring Jennifer Lawrence. And the premise of this movie is single mother Jennifer Lawrence is trying to break free from constraints of her family that she's living with. And there are lots of personal and family issues and problems. And she really wants to be able to start breaking free, building a small business and growing it into a business empire. And she does achieve that through the course of the movie, but it's not easy. It's not easy at all. And we know it's not easy to run a business and this movie really begins to show you some of the challenges in terms of really trying to build a dream and trying to build a vision. Three crucial things to look out for are everyone starts at the bottom and you need to do the work and this movie really shows how she struggles and goes through it yet she is ready to do absolutely everything until she becomes later on this head of this big, huge empire, but it's not easy to get there. And being able to start right at the bottom, it's okay. You're going to fail and you have to be persistent. Things are going to go wrong. Lots of things are going to go wrong. And this movie really hopefully gives you a little bit of inspiration and motivation to keep going on those days that you're struggling. It does for me. The second thing to really look out for is get the right advice from the right people. When you see the decisions that she makes based on listening to the wrong people, giving her the wrong advice, 
you'll see that at one point it almost completely bankrupts her and completely destroys her legally, financially, every single possible way. But when you start listening to the right people with the right advice, getting the right legal advice, getting the right educational advice, getting the right business advice, systems advice, innovation advice, all of the different types of advice that you need to have, make sure that you're listening to the right people. Hopefully watching this movie is quite painful, but hopefully it's worth it if it makes you just not listen to the people that you're listening to if they are causing you any problems at the moment. I paid those royalties because you told me to, because your lawyer told me to. Our lawyer was mistaken. This happens sometimes in business. It didn't work out for you. It happens sometimes. Trudy's lawyer is not a patent attorney. Which I said. And you said I had no business being Joy's advisor. The third thing to look out for here is innovation. Joy was all about innovation. Not only was it just innovation in terms of the products she made, but innovation in terms of the way it was sold and the way that certain things happened. And watching the movie and understanding that innovation really changes the way certain businesses and industries develop, then making sure that we stay on top of innovation is going to be really important. And innovation doesn't just come from the product or service that we're offering. It's even innovation inside our business processes and inside the way that we market, the way that we sell, the way that we build teams, the way that we listen to people. So innovation is a big part of this movie, as of course is persistence, which I think her being headstrong in terms of just having that singular vision, singular direction towards success. The next movie is Jerry Maguire. Yes, it is a love story movie. However, there is a really, really solid business story going behind the scenes that actually forms the majority of the movie even though we walk away not really thinking about that. Watch it from the perspective of somebody really trying to run a business. And the three things to take away from here is, number one, follow your values. Because Tom Cruise's character, he ended up writing a memo, or actually a mission statement, as he called it. He began writing what they call a mission statement. Not a memo, a mission statement. You know, a suggestion for the future of our company. He wrote a mission statement in the company that he was working at where he was incredibly successful. But because they did not agree with those values, they ended up firing him. Came here to fire you, Jerry. And he ended up going and starting a business that is based around his values. And he attracted the one person inside that company that actually believed in his values. Dorothy Boyd, thank you and what he was actually saying as part of his mission statement. So making sure that you've got the right core values inside your business means that you are going to attract the right people, both in terms of team and in terms of clients and customers as well. And that is a really important part of watching this movie, but also in running our businesses, at least it is for me. Core values is a huge part. And I know that a lot of people sometimes talk about this as fluff. It's not fluff. It really does make a big difference and it will be a key thing to attracting the right team as well as the right clients, as well as the right money that you will get down the line. So that's the first thing to keep an eye out for. The second thing to keep an eye out for is customer service and having an amazing customer experience as part of your business really goes a long way. Because one of the things that in the mission statement that Tom Cruise actually came up with was really provide an amazing customer experience, less customers, less clients, but actually more service and more care and more attention. And that was something that his other company that he was working at didn't agree with, but he very much followed that through with the one single client he had. But the client that he stuck with, he provided an amazing experience for him. He cared about him. He was listening to him. He, you know, the famous line, help me help you. Help me help you help. I can't do it. L let's roll cut. Help me help you. Help me. me help you. That line there really defines how we should be running our businesses, where we are listening to our customers, trying to understand what it is they want and trying to serve them and your business will grow. The third and final thing for Jenny Maguire to look out for is what does success look like for you and how do you experience it and how do you not forget about actually living it and experiencing it? Because all too much we get caught up in running a business and we're trying to build a future, we forget to live in the present and we forget to actually celebrate the successes as and when they're happening and be able to actually live the life that we want. I do that sometimes and 
watching this movie really does remind you and remind him, Tom Cruise, as he's actually running the business, what matters most to him and what does he actually want to achieve in life and why is he running his business so that it could serve him to succeed in his life, not the other way around. And I think that that's an important thing. At least it was for me. I hope it was for you. Let's have a look at the next film. I love my life and I wish you my kind of success. The fifth and final movie is Steve Jobs, starring Michael Fassbender. It just covers a small section of what happens behind the scenes as well as in front of the scenes when he's doing a particular launch. Across the times of before he got fired, when he got fired and when he was running the other company next, and then afterwards as well when he came back to Apple, and what happened to Apple as it was succeeding, then failing after he left, and then kind of succeeding again. And it really does show how a single person can can be crucial to the strategy of and the success of a business. It also shows sometimes that nobody's perfect and Steve Jobs was definitely not a perfect human being and it shows all of the good things about him but it also shows all of the not so good things about him that people around him didn't necessarily appreciate. So let's have a look at three important things to keep an eye out for when watching this movie. The first thing is strategy. Now when you listen to Steve Jobs throughout the entire movie his brain is thinking five steps ahead of everyone else including when he is fired and how he planned to actually get back into Apple by creating another company and creating false launch announcements so that Apple would assume that he has a certain thing that they would value. And strategy is really, really important in any business. And being able to think three, four steps ahead in terms of where you are going, but also what the potential obstacles can be and how do you navigate your way around them is really important. And this movie just gives us a little glimpse in terms of how Steve Jobs was planning these things. So the next thing to have a look at is marketing in this movie. Now, we all know that Apple is one of the best marketing companies around. Yes, they have innovative products, but had it not been for their marketing, we probably wouldn't have had Apple the way it is today. And you could see those foundations inside Steve Jobs in terms of how he wanted everything to be positioned perfectly, how everything needed to say what it needed to say at the specific time it had to say it. And those are things that you can take with you within your company. Your business is going to be a hell of a lot better if you market it in the right way and position your brand in the right way at the right time. Yes, you need to have the products to or the services to back it up. Yes, you need to have the values. Yes, you need to have all of the other things. But marketing is a huge element towards the success of your business as it was for him. And you can actually see the difference between how he was in front of the public eye and how he was behind the scenes with his own family, his own colleagues, and how he was not actually like. It will show you that nobody's perfect and you don't have to be a perfect human to succeed. When you watch it, you'll see exactly what I mean. And it's fascinating to watch and it's fascinating to sort of take that marketing aspect and hopefully keep that as part of your business DNA. The third and final thing to take away from this movie is failure is not necessarily the end of everything. You can come back from failure and you can see in this movie that both Steve Jobs and Apple failed quite a lot of times. And they found ways to come back. And you don't have to sit there and think that everything needs to go right every time. And even if you get something that is huge and it really hurts you badly and it takes you down, you can come back from it. I know I've been through that where I've had a company where it completely and utterly, there's a story about it on my channel. I'll put the link in the description below. This is not about this. This is about you and watching this movie failure, you can come back from it. Well, those were the five movies. Put your top three business movies down in the comments below. Write down what learnings you found from particular different movies, and I will respond to each and every one of them. Once you've finished these movies, this is what YouTube thinks you should watch next. Right there. Click on it.